Movie night, back with another classic. I'm your host, Easy. Welcome to Call Language. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Before me, we got a 2021 Tesla Model Y performance. Love the spec. MSRP starts around 56,000. I believe white is free. Any other color after that, depending on what color, it could cost you two grand, in between one to two grand. The self, the fully self-driving tech is an extra 10k total it'll run you about seventy thousand dollars that is this spec right here if you're wondering who's the one that is that is mine so if you're interested please subscribe to my channel slowly but surely and gradually we're tuning that zl1 so be sure to follow a lot of things coming but back to the model y a couple months back i was in between the EVs, you know, I was stubborn. I was that stubborn person till I drove the Taycan and I was blown away. And then I said, well, it's a Porsche, so it costs more. It's a Porsche, more in every aspect till I drove this Tesla now. And I gotta say, the day it comes down to purchasing an EV, it's gonna be a, a bit of a, a pickle. You know, it's gonna be hard to, 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 to choose. I like them both. This one has more tech. The self-driving technology is, is better, but Porsche's Porsche. So I'm gonna do a comparison. I wish I had both cars side by side, but so far I do like the Tesla Model Y. The X, I would say it's a bit too much for me. This is just right. Let's get into it. As far as the design, I feel like it's getting a bit dated. I wish they would switch it. I think it's time for a refresh. Only car enthusiasts notice the Tesla Y from the Model 3 off the rip. Again, the lights are dated, but they still look good. They're LED, we got some fog lights. This is a fully electric vehicle, of course, so we have a front trunk. These are 21 inch wheels. I love these wheels. I gotta say, these are nice wheels. And you got the red brake calipers matching the red paint. I love the flat black. 21 inch wheels, P0 Pirelli's, 255s up front, 275s in the rear, staggered wheels. Didn't expect that from Tesla. We got cameras everywhere. Camera here, camera there. That's for sentry mode. Sentry mode is an option. So when you leave the car, it will record while you're gone. In case someone opens the door and hits it, the owner will be alerted. Love that feature. That feature alone has me sold. It's, a, it's about two, three features that got me wanting to bite the bullet in, in regards to purchasing this car. To open the car, it's a push and pull mechanism. Love how the door handles are flush. Again, nice two-tone with the flat black, the gloss black windows, and the red. Me, personally, I would get rid of the badging. I love to get rid of badges. I don't know, it's just a, a, a personal preference. This is a carbon fiber wing. I'm not too sure if that's an aftermarket thought, but if it is, great touch by the owner. In regards to the owner, shout out to Rodney. I borrowed this car. I rented this car from Turo, Rodney. He says he has a bunch of cars. We're definitely gonna link up with him. Real cool guy, and I love how clean he had his Tesla. And it's also the performance, it's not the basic. To access the charging port, you tap here, and it opens up automatically. To close it, you just tap it. Right now, we're gonna get into storage, so let me show you the boot up front, the frunk. I don't like that word, to be honest. So to access the front trunk, you go to this car icon here. It's all, this will always be present when you first get into the car. To give you that option, it's sort of like, picture having the buttons accessible. So this will, this part of the vehicle will always be present. So let's access the front trunk, press it doesn't open automatically like the rear so you have to finish the process manually as we 
take a look inside. Fairly spacious. I love how they utilized this vehicle's room. A lot of storage here. Storage is not an issue. We have windshield washer fluid access right there. This little tag right here, I'm gonna assume it it's for the fire extinguisher. This is not my car, so sorry, I'm not gonna demonstrate. Let's close it. Love the subtlety of badging. The less a car has promoting out as far as badging goes, the better, just in my opinion. That's my preference. Now let's check out the back trunk. Automated, of course. You press this hidden button here. I don't know what happened there. I guess they didn't work out the kinks yet. <laughs> we got two storages on the side, just in case you don't want things rolling around. And then you have this loop, leather loop here. More storage, very deep. Again, love the fact that they're utilizing the space as much as they can. We have more storage here. These are your charging cables. You can fold the seats down from the rear to get more cubic feet of room. Little drops. A lot of a lot of room. Love that. Bring the seats back up. You have to do that manually. As far as for your rear passengers, you got some options. You can slightly recline the seats back by pushing on this button here. I thought that was pretty cool. Give you some more comfort so you won't sit upright. You get to kind of recline a bit. And as we climb inside, as you can see, we have a lot of headroom and a lot of knee room. I'm six feet tall. Up front is where I will be sitting. As you can see, we have some climbing vents in the middle and USB-C charging ports. Love the panoramic, panoramic roof, by the way. I love the panoramic roof. We have two LED lights and we got some co hooks up here as well on both sides. Again, very clean, very clean. Excuse the sweat. It's warm out here in Hotlanta. As we climb up front, To open the door from the inside is electrical just in case the battery dies you pull here I'm not gonna pull because if I demonstrate that uh, light will come on saying that you will damage the window because of clearance so that's why they recommend you use the push button as we climb in you have your control stocks one on each side one is for your signals and the other one is for your gears this wheel here works your volume and your track button regular horn this one right here is for your menu i love the steering wheel feel it's fairly thick it's actually thicker than the one on my zl1 i like this one better a ding on the zl1 not to bring that up but i hate that steering wheel i love the way the steering wheel feels and more storage going on in the middle here big storage here in the middle very deep we got two wireless charging ports for your phones again i'm not too sure if this carbon fiber look is an afterthought or or if it came from tesla either way it works i love the way it looks we got two cup holders we got a middle storage here as well pouring the water drink your water we got another small storage under the armrest for business cars, etc. Anything small of that nature. And to access the glove box, push this car icon here, press glove box. You see where it says, I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, yes, you can. Press the glove box. We have your registration, etc. All the controls are to be worked with on the screen. That's a plus and a minus. The only thing I would say is I wish it would have had a heads up display so you could watch your speed straight up ahead. And also maybe like a little navigation section. That would have been nice as well because you got to constantly take your eyes off the road. 
It's that split second sometimes that can put you in a situation. But a lot of safety tech, a lot of safety features, it's just, you know, us humans, we tend to be stubborn with the new tech. But again, overall, I, I, I love the car. I love the fact that the climate control is hidden. Um, it's very clean in here. I love what uh, uh, the manufacturers are doing. It may sound a bit cliche, but saving the planet, saving the animals, using that recycling material to, to create these clean and earthy tone interiors. A plus from everybody, but Tesla definitely got it going on with, with, the, with the model why they put everything together. Again, it, bit, it looks a bit cheap, but earth, earthy tones are kind of like back, right? In the modern times. Up here, we have your hazard lights, some more LEDs, your dome lights, or map lights, shall we say. And you can control your mirrors to adjust your mirrors you press. As you can see, you can choose. We're gonna choose the left one because my cameraman is on the right. And as you can see, you adjust them this way. S same goes for your steering. Adjusting the steering wheel is very simple. All work through the screen. You can lock your windows. You can fold your mirrors as well. Let's see if they fold with the door open. And yes, they do. You gotta love the tech. You can adjust the brightness. I usually keep it on. This car has that someone like me could definitely use is dog mode. As you take a look right here at the climate controls, let's talk about the climate controls for a minute. Sorry, very sensitive, somewhat sensitive. I'm assuming you can change that. You can, we got dog mode, just in case those Karens are around and you leave your dog inside, it will also uh, display something on the screen saying dog mode, the dog is secure and safe with air. Love that feature. And as we take a look at the climate control, you can swipe of your finger, you can adjust to where you want the air to blow. Amazing. Right now I need it to my face. And on the passenger as well. Dope feature. Really dope feature. Um, warm, cold, everything again is push button. It, 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 it's it's a bit annoying, but believe me, you get used to it very quickly. This is your camera here. As you can see, we got two angles. The door is open, obviously, because my because of my camera man, but you can see on both sides. You can see it in the rear. Uh, these are your tunes. Spotify, karaoke, tune line, USB. You have pretty much every option out. And since it's an electrical car, built with software I'm, I'm assuming if anything else comes out I'm sure Tesla will be ahead as well they will you will most likely be able to upgrade the vehicle that's the great thing about the electrical cars these are your windshield wipers you can control how fast um, the owner has it on auto right uh, uh, position to have them in we got some heated seats and these are your defrost and your value again you have the option of the wheel here as well and that's a quick tour of the infotainment system a lot going on that will have to be a separate video i'm not going to promise you i'm going to make one but it's a lot to go through but for the most part this is where you live as far as here goes navigation is great as you can see the map is very responsive as well you can choose whether you want uh a 3d grid like this or you want something like this i personally like this one if you push this button here with the little battery logo that right there will show you anywhere uh the supercharger stations um this is the lights it, it'll show you traffic basically and the map so change whichever map display you want love that feature by the way so for all of those stubborn folks out there, oh, there's not enough charging stations. I see seven here, seven there, seven there. Granted, this is not my car, so it will always be charged because I'll have the charger port at the house, but due to the fact that I'm a bit south from Atlanta, a lot of charging ports, I'm gonna say, are within city limits. I'm 22 miles round trip. But the great thing about this car is if we, if you come take a look here at this icon, you go up here, 
and hey, let's go for the trip and charge the car. You have a toy box. Um, these are these are like your settings. If you want like a romance setting, a fireplace, a, a pop-up, I'll, I'll show you. It'll get warm in here and, and it'll give you that cabin vibe. As we go back, let's go back, take a look at your entertainment. You got a lot of games. This being one of my favorite ones, Sky Force, it reminds me of kind of like a Contra. And it's somewhat responsive. Again, you can also link Netflix and watch a movie while you charge. So it's a lot of things that, that might feel a bit uncomfortable, but in a sense, you become one with the car. Nowadays, a lot of us are constantly on our phones. So, you know, now it's like you're, you know, in a sense, you'll constantly be on your car. As you can see, the graphics are, are fairly nice as well. Loading, of course, like any other game. See, really dope. Really cool game. Oh man, shooting like that. It's gonna oh, take us a while, maybe not. But very responsive. It's not like a Atari lag game. Let's get those. And there you go, you got some games. So it's pretty dope. Again, a lot of features. It'll take me all day to go through them. But uh, Tesla definitely went out their way to make it as comfortable as possible. Let's talk about the charging for a minute. So as far as the charging goes, you get that small cable. It takes a really long, long time to charge. Again, the nearest charging station to me is 22 miles round trip. So if I was closer to the city, they'll be more accessible. That's one, that's something to look out for when purchasing an electrical vehicle. But Tesla is one of the most, one of the EVs that, that has the most options as far as where to charge your vehicle, from what I hear. And so the, the house port, there's a small one that takes 24 to 34 hours. And then there's uh, another uh, jack or, or adapter. That one, I'm gonna assume is the one that will charge it faster for your home. I unfortunately, this is not my car, so I don't have that to show you guys. But later on, I'll show you the car charging at home. This is your key, by the way. It's a credit card, the size of a credit card. And to turn on the car, you will push on the brake and right under the armrest, you just hold the brake and, and tap it and the car will turn on. That is to turn the car on. It's electric, so you're not gonna hear anything. This is for those who are gonna jump into an EV for the first time. Don't expect to hear anything. You just, the moment you see the screen light up and uh, show the map, you just put it in gear and you're ready to go. Let's take this bad boy for a drive. Driving the Tesla Model Y performance performance. Why they have you saying that twice is beyond me, but we're not gonna get into that. We'll let Elon Musk is explain. Love the panoramic roof. That is one of my favorite features, is two things that I love about these modern cars, which is the panoramic roof and Panoramic roof and the pillarless doors. Those are like two two things I can't get over. Let's step on it right quick. This thing feels like a plane taking off the runway. That's what it sounds like. I hope you can hear me. Roll noise, I'm gonna assume that's due to the fact that these are 20 inch wheels. If they were smaller and maybe had some more meat on them, you probably hear the road less, but insulation is great. Right now, I'm gonna do a U-turn and show you guys the turning radius. It's great, it's definitely great. Here we go. And as you can see, effortlessly turning. Step on it again. That's something that doesn't get old. You catch up with traffic real quick. And I love that about the modern cars nowadays is is it's becoming a bit how do you say insanity where where does it end 
the Plaid is doing zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. This, to be a family car, is doing zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. This is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> your baby might be all over the place. <laughs> you know, after your wife just finished giving birth, it's like putting a frog in a jar and shaking it. <laughs> car is amazing. I love the steering. The steering is definitely precise definitely for a vehicle this size how do you not speed in this car I've heard people already tell me I went to Chipotle got some food from Chipotle shout out to Chipotle I love Chipotle and the guy over the counter he said he got a ticket in a model 3 I believe it so be careful guys be very very careful make sure you get a radar you're gonna need it and then the scary part about these EVs there's no sound so the cops they're not they're not hearing it you might be going so fast they might not even see it take the 21 inch wheels off <laughs> incognito the stock controls surprisingly feel really good as well too they feel sturdy they definitely don't feel cheap they appear to be a, a bit cheap but they feel good just being honest. The only reason why I wouldn't consider this car is because they're too, too common. I, I, I like I like something a bit more subtle, low key. But from driving it and experiencing the Teslas, you can see why they are common. It's just an all around great vehicle. Practicality, performance, no gas. You understand? My only gripe would be someone living in an apartment. I don't think it'll work for you because I can't constantly be going to a charging station. That's just my opinion. You could definitely want your house first. Here at the stop sign, I'll stop, take a look real quick, and, and I don't feel uncomfortable. I also don't feel like you know, it, it might be cheap in here, but, but it looks good. Everything is well put together. Again, I love the insulation. Um, visibility is great. Steering is great. I love the fact that, again, you have some, con some controls on the steering wheel to control your, your needs, your music, uh, the volume, of course, and, you know, navigation. Yes, you're taking your eyes off the road to take a look at the main screen, but it's not as bad as you would think. You you get used to it. It's a, a decent curve. I can't wait to see what what these muscle cars are gonna do as far as the EV goes, because this thing is up to par by a long shot. On the dig, I'm a I'm an American muscle car guy head on a dig. Tesla got us. I'm sorry, that might be a bit controversial, but you got to give credit when credit's due. Tesla knocked it out the ball with this. And again, being the Y, it's it's the perfect family car. I I really, really, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I I I want one. Yesterday, I said, let me let me not get ahead of myself because I love my combustion engine, and I'm not in any point in time trading in my Z01 for one of these. Sorry, Elon. It's amazing, I love it, but I need my combustible engine. I love my Z01. But this is gonna be my secondary car. And, and again, the X is cool, but I believe it's, it's too flashy for me. I, I, I believe the Y is, is that one in the middle. The three is too small, the S is too, it's, it's a car. I, I, I love the space in the back. Again, perfect for, for those who have animals as well. This is the, to me, if I was to rate this car, I'll give it an eight and a half. That one and a half negative for me, I'll explain in another video. I'll do a separate video on, there's very few things that I don't like about this car. And again, it's only a matter of time before they work out those kinks. And yeah, they, they're very light kinks. You know, it's just someone who's been in in fairly decent cars you can see the difference o on that note 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned, more content coming soon. Call language. I'm out.